Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview, a very cool one at that. I have a model to show you that is coming from Hot Wheels next Tuesday, not to a store near you, but to the Red Line Club, the Hot Wheels Red Line Club. If you are a member, this preview is for you. If you are not a member, well, this is to show you why you should be a member and join next year when that window opens. Those details we'll talk about another time. But this is the High Po Hauler. It was sent to me by Mattel to preview for you. If you're on the fence about it, I hope you're not. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will be convinced that this is a model you want to get next Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific time on HotWheelsCollectors.com. If you're already convinced, well, here's a just a little chance to whet your appetite just a little bit. We are going to make you familiar with the high-po hauler, at least I'm going to try, of what it is, and then we're going to open it up. Well, let's get rid of this protector. Now, if you buy this model next Tuesday, you'll get the protector, but that's not what we're showcasing, so whoop. All right, this is the model we are showcasing. High-po hauler was made, the real car, because this is a replica of a real car, was made by the Gas Monkey Garage crew. That's what this logo is here. For the show Fast and Loud, if you remember, there was the Gas Monkey Corvette, the gold Corvette. We've seen it as a Hot Wheels Entertainment model, premium version. We've also seen it in the basic range. That was a challenge by Hot Wheels for them to do. They did it. The car was made. Kablah, kablah. Well, a little bit later on, in true reality show fashion, the Hot Wheels team said, well, why don't we do another one? So, Gas Monkey Garage folk, if you can make a cool car, we'll replicate it for the Redline Club. That's the setup. We know the outcome. Because A, we've seen the show, and B, it's a reality show. It's not like they're going to say, no, I didn't like it. We're not going to make it. So the Gas Monkey Garage team went back to Dallas, made this, got this old Ford Econoline pickup, and made this super cool hypo hauler. Got the Hot Wheels team involved, and yada, yada, yada. Here we are. The replica is done. The, show, the car was unveiled on a show on an episode, I think about a year or so ago. That link is down below. But here's the model. I'm also leaving you a link to a preview that I did with Hot Wheels designer Brendan Vitusky back at the uh, Nationals Convention in Dallas in April, where he had a prototype of this model and described a lot of the details because he worked on not only the model, but the actual car. But we're going to get some of those details right now. All right. Enough introduction. There is the artwork. That is the actual car, or at least a repli or, um, rendering of the car. Hopefully you've seen pictures of this. Hypo Holler, Hypo Holler is the name. Here is the back. Hot Wheels design team teamed up with the Fast and Loud crew to create a real-life hypo hauler, a highly customized and rotted pickup with a scary fast 520C. Why am I reading this for you? You can read it. Just freeze the screen. So, here it is. It has a little window in the back. All the licensing stuff. Kablah, kablah, kablah. How many are being made? 12,000. This one is number 5203, so right smack dab in the middle. This one that Mattel sent to me. 12,000 being made. If you're on HotWheelsCollectors.com at 9 a.m., you'll get into the window, and then hopefully you'll be able to buy one. Limit one per account. Why? Because I think they anticipate this being wildly popular. There are more memberships than models. So this will probably sell out quickly. If not, it's only going to stay an RLC exclusive. So understand that. It won't be made available to the general public. I know if you're not an RLC member, that's kind of a bummer. You might have to go to eBay or whatever else um, to try and get one. But... Um, be an RLC member next time. I'll say that. All right. Should we open this up? Yeah, because I want to show you a lot of the details. All right. You got enough on the card art? Wow. Zers. Okay, first thing you notice, it's got a nice hefty weight to it. You also notice that that burnt orange mirrored specter flame is stunning. I personally like that it's got a very simple deco, just the hypo holler uh, little art on the back. Other than that, like you've got this like separate piece of headlights. It looks like a separate, well, maybe it's not. It's hard to really tell. Um, it looks like it's a separate piece, maybe part of the uh, chassis or something. It looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. So you have that really detailed part in the front. You have that nice grill. Obviously, this is a highly modified vehicle and a highly modified replica. Now, you might ask, hey, John, didn't Hot Wheels do a Ford Econoline just recently? We've seen it in car culture. Yes, they did. But this has this was actually, from what I understand from the design team, 
a total coincidence. They had already planned to do an Econoline pickup. We've seen it in car culture shop trucks. Um, and then when uh, the collaboration with um, with Gas Monkey Garage happened, they said, we want to do an Econoline too. And they said, let's do it. So this, Brendan said in the video pre- previous that he'd used some of the files from Mark Jones design for the car culture model. But ultimately, this is built from scratch. All right, refer to the links below. If you want more information on the car, watch the Fast and Monkey episode that the link's down below. If you want a little more information on the development of the casting and some of the details, definitely look at that preview model or that preview video we did with Brendan Vitusky. But I want to showcase some of the very, very cool details here. The first thing, when you look at the bed, remember this model was built completely from scratch. So this is replicating every little detail that can be replicated in 164 of the hypo hauler. So that starts with the very, very wide reel riders in the back and the very, very tiny skinnies in the front. These were existing reel riders that are being used, but they sure take on a different look with the hypo hauler. Next thing, the details on the engine. Notice that part of it is in the is built into the uh, actual body and the other part of the engine is a separate piece. Little details like the belts and everything are there, not only detailed with the uh, deco, but also the details and just the engine itself. You can see right through it, through the chassis, right into the bed of the vehicle. That was meant because that's what the actual real, actually actual car has, as you can see through it from the chassis. You can also see, as Brendan notes, the uh, radiator down at the bottom. He actually worked on that when he was there at the garage working on the actual car. And he actually built the brackets for the radiator. And then all of that is at its best replicated down below. All right, but what I really want to show you is this awesome interior. First off, start with that awesome steering wheel. I know this is super close up, but that is a three-spoke steering wheel replicating the actual steering wheel in the model. Seat is also black, hard to see with my shadowing, but I have the light pointing because I want to show you the bottom. Notice the pedal is chrome, and so is the gas pedal. This was, These are both part of the chassis. This was done, again, to replicate exactly what the interior of the hypo hauler looks like. How cool is that? Brendan went all out in designing this model. Now, if you don't know Brendan, he's also di- designed the 55 Bel Air Gasser and some of these other very, very popular models. This one's going to be one of those. Just a cool hot rod. So, so many details on this model. It's next level. You can see why it's an RLC model, and that's all it is going to be. So there you go. That is the Hypo Hauler. Thanks, Mattel, for letting me showcase that. Be ready on Tuesday to get this model. I will say that. It is beautiful. It is worth it. No matter what kind of collector you are, no matter what kind of cars you really like, you want this one. Whether you're into the show or not, I'm not into the show. I'm not. I've never. I, the first episode I ever watched was this one. It was cool, not my thing. This car, totally my thing. It's a beautiful Hot Wheels car, and I like collecting beautiful Hot Wheels cars. Thanks, Brendan, for sharing all those details with us. Let me know if you guys luck out and get one on Tuesday, URLC members. Talk to you later. Bye.